episode of Vent Talk. I'm Brother Vince and I'm Army Veteran. And today we will be talking about pre-need eligibility for burial in the VA cemetery. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Reddit for more content. And to all veterans who love to share your stories or resource for veterans and non-veterans who love to share your resource for veterans, please contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. Now that we got that out the way, let's get into this topic. So again, we're talking about the pre-need eligibility for burial in a VA cemetery. So this is for all of those veterans who are in need of being buried at this moment, but you want to make provision and prepare early so that your family aren't faced with complications after you leave. The VA has an actual setup for us to where we can go ahead and start preparing ourselves before that time comes. So right here on my screen, you can see the pre-need eligibility for burial in the VA cemetery. You can find out in advance if you can be buried in the VA National Cemetery. This is called a pre-need determination of eligibility, and it can help make the burial planning process easy for your family members in their time of need. Follow the steps below to apply. No, pre-need means before the time of need. This application is for planning your own burial in advance. Please do not complete this form if you're requesting burial at the time of need. So they just wanted to make sure that family members who are listening to me or even those who go on this website don't take this application and fill it out if they're in the current need at the moment. So right here, you can see it said, how do I prepare before starting my application? Number one, find out if you're eligible. One of these must describe you, a veteran who didn't receive a dishonorable discharge when separating from the military, or the spouse or dependent of a service member or veteran, even if the service member or veteran has already passed away, or in some cases, the adult dependent of a service member or veteran if you aren't married. We base our decision on whether or not you qualify for burial in the VA National Cemetery or your service history or the service history of the veteran or service member who's sponsoring your application for a burial as a spouse, surviving spouse, or unmarried adult child. Get more details about eligibility right here by clicking on this blue button. And note, if a service member dies on active duty, they're eligible for burial without a pre-need decision letter. Number two, choose the VA National Cemetery where you prefer to be buried. So right here, you can click on this and you can find a VA National Cemetery that you preferably want to go to. Please note, this application is only for VA National Cemetery. This application is only for VA National Cemeteries. If you would like to be buried in a state or tribal veteran cemetery, contact that specific cemetery ahead of time to find out about their pre-need program. Some state veteran cemeteries require that you live in that state or have other rules around eligibility. You can apply for a pre-need determination of eligibility from VA and also from a state or tribal cemetery. Find a state cemetery right here by clicking on this button. This application does not apply to the Arlington National Cemetery or the United States Soldiers and Airmen's Home National Cemetery. If you would like to be buried in either of these departments of the Army Cemeteries, please call 877-907-8585, RTTY 711. We're here Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Getting a pre-need determination of eligibility doesn't guarantee you will be buried in a specific VA cemetery. We don't take reservations at any VA national cemetery. However, we ask where you prefer to be buried so we can try to help fill your final wishes. Three, gather the supporting documents and information you'll need to fill out the application. Please see the list below. If you don't have everything on the list, you can still apply and we'll help you by 
finding the supporting documents we need. Just keep in mind that the more information you can give us when you apply, the faster we can review your application and give you a decision. We'll contact you if we need you to provide additional information. And four, be sure to fill out an application for each person requesting a pre-need eligibility determination. If both you and your spouse are applying, you'll each need to fill out your own application. So right here, this answers the question, what information do I need to apply? To apply, you'll need your or your sponsor, social security number, date and place of birth, military status, and service history, like service date, discharge character, rank, commonly found on the DD-214, or other separation documents. Discharge paper, DD-214, or other separation documents. Note, if you do not have discharge paper, find out how to request the DD-214. If you're applying for a spouse, surviving spouse, or unmarried adult child, you need your personal information, including your social security number. If you're applying on behalf of someone else, you need supporting documents showing you have the authority to apply for that person. You need to fill out one of these forms, which is the appointment of veteran service organization as claimant's representative, VA form 21-22. So you can get that form right here or appointment of individual as claimant representative, VA form 21-22A. You can get that form right here. And if you're applying for an unmarried adult of a veteran or service member, you will need to provide supporting documents with information about the child's disability. The veteran or the guardian of that child should also ask the child's current doctor to verify the documents. These documents should include all of the following information, the date of the disability onset and a description of the disability, mental or physical, and a, a description of how dependent this disabled child is on the veteran and the marital status of the child. How do I apply? You can apply online right now by pushing this green button, which says apply for pre-needed eligibility. You can also apply by mail and they have the actual address. They have um, the information for fax and they also have other information um, as far as a hotline that you can call if you need help filling out the application. And then they also explain to you what happened after you apply. So all of this information is right here in front of you and they make it readily accessible for you so that you don't have to go through this process alone. And the reason why I wanted to share this is because a lot of times, myself included, we don't think about these things because most of us would like to live forever. And I get that. But we have to ensure that with wanting to live forever, we also prepare ourselves for that moment that nobody knows when it will happen. And you don't want to leave your family hanging and out to dry without doing the proper things that you need to do to make sure that you take care of things for when you're leaving this world. Because we all prepare to stay here, but we all got to prepare to leave here too. So I just wanted to make sure that I go over this information as brief as possible. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to go down into the description section and leave comments, ask me questions. And if there's something that I can get back to you with, I'm going to do that. And if you don't feel like you want to hear me, then again, I gave you phone numbers. I showed you where you can call the hotline for help, whatever it takes to make sure that you get this boat rolling. I believe this should be one of the things that you prepare for now and don't wait till it's too late, which means the next second, because the next second could be the next second that you leave this world. So make sure that you prepare for that moment, because again, we are all going to leave this world. So this has been another episode with your boy, brother Vince Vet Talk. My good people, Vet Talk out. <laughs>